Hello everybody and welcome back to Letton Farm. So I've been incredibly busy over the past 12 to 16 hours working on the tractor just in here, the 1630 John Deere. Now this is the tractor which ran away. Um, I, I accidentally made it run away. Um, I was trying to move it out of the way for Mr. Young after he flipped it, but I, I really shouldn't have done that. So what I've done is I've bought it and hopefully I'm going to be able to sell either this on for profit or a different tractor, maybe even the Zeta. If this turns out to be good and working, we're going to keep it probably. Um, if not, then um, yes, I'm, going to, I'm just going to sell it anyway. Try and make some money back, maybe break even. So here we go. This is the first time I've attempted to start it in the time I've owned it. So let's see if it piles out smoke. I do have a CO2 extinguisher at the ready to try and shut it off, but hopefully it's just going to purr. Right, this is nerve-wracking. Here we go. Wow. That is smooth. It actually does work. And it drives. Have I just fixed this lovely looking tractor? Possibly. No, well not too much smoke coming out of the exhaust a little bit. But that is expected. So let's take this thing for a drive. I'm going to have to move this out of the way to begin with. Um, but since that does work, I can either keep that tractor or keep this tractor. I can't really afford to keep both because that did cost me £1,500 and that is money I really do need. Especially as the next mortgage payment is coming up fairly soon. What I should do actually, now what I'll do is I'll put it on the back of the trailer again and take the Zeta tractor and the John Deere over to the dealership and get them both valued. And then we can really go from there, see which one is going to be the most beneficial to us, which one we should sell first. Um, so, yeah, let's just get into this thing, and we'll take it for a quick spin. I don't really want to be handbrake turning it straight away, but, um, yes. That is nice. That is a decent tractor. So, as predicted, it wasn't anything too serious. Um, it's just because it had been on its side, and, uh, yeah, it needed to uh, sort itself out. It's had quite a bit of work put into it. Not really too much money. I had some oil left over anyway from my 135, so hopefully it does take the same oil. I've put the same oil in it. That field's looking very good. I could do with actually uh, fertilising it a bit more. So that's a job for in a minute or two, but I'm very tempted just to get a price on these to begin with. So let's go over to the dealers, get a price. Um, I might have to leave it with them, possibly, if we do. That should be fine. I do have other tractors here to be using. Uh, in fact, what I'll probably do is uh, use the 135 anyway today. Right, so let's get those ramps put out. And I really don't know what it's worth. I don't even know what this tractor's worth, to be honest. So, yeah, this is going to be quite interesting. As you can see, I only have £2,449, uh, which really isn't that good. It needs to be much better than that. So if I can get a really nice profit from one of these two tractors, that would be uh, very good. Both of which didn't really cost me too much. Obviously the Zeta was free, I found it, and the John Deere was £1,500. I admit it has consumed a few consumables, but that was expected, doing the work with it. Um, you know, some paper towels, disposable gloves, that sort of stuff. But nothing too extravagant. And the oil I already paid for, so that's fine. Right, I'm very interested to see what they're going to say. I might be able to sell it back to the Youngs, that would be quite funny. Yes, it's yours for only £6,000. I know I only bought it yesterday for 1500 but even so, no, we wouldn't be too cruel to them. Uh, I don't think they'd want it back anyway, actually, because they have loads of other really good tractors. This one is quite small. Here we are. I bet they're not used to so many beautiful tractors entering the yard. I can't speak to somebody. Okay, there's a bit of a queue, but they're going to come out in a minute and just have a look at them. Um, so, yeah, we'll just, we'll just wait. Well, the sales woman has just gone back in there. And, um, no, she was very good, actually. She gave us an incredibly good price for the John Deere and an okay price for the Zeta. Maybe it was a good price, not too sure. But 3000 for this. I think I'd prefer to keep it. But this one here, 8330 
thing is, I really do want to keep the John Deere. So I could just sell the, uh, the Zeta, get £3,000, that's not too bad. It's a nice tractor. Um, but again, it's another two-wheel drive tractor, this one here. Actually, which one is higher horsepower? I think this one here is 49. And yeah, this one here is 50 to 60. So they're very similar, except one has a cab. Um, it's so annoying because they've both been so... Well, this one here has been so reliable. This one used to be reliable. It should be reliable again now, though. Hopefully. Uh, hmm. Well, I'm... <laughs> I'm probably going to just sit on it for the time being. Yes, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go. I've already said thank you to them. I'll keep the prices in mind. I think they're valid for a week. So I can come back here tomorrow or later today and so on. Um, but there we go, 3,000 for this, 8,330 for that. Both of which do seem okay, especially the John Deere. But having the cab does add value. So yeah, maybe tomorrow, because we're not desperate for the money, we don't have the mortgage repayment yet, so yeah, I think tomorrow we might sell something. As that is the case though, I think what we're going to do is use the John Deere, might as well get a bit of use out of it, I've put all that work in. Um, up nearly all night working on it. Barely slept at all, maybe three hours. Uh, so, yep, yeah, let's uh, see if the hard work's paid off. I suppose I could just solve it, and then if it de developed a problem further down the line, it would be the dealer's problem. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm very tempted to use it. So we'll put the uh, spreader on it, or something like that, and we'll go and work in this field. I actually need to do some more work in the sugar beet field as well. So that's what we're going to focus on today, sugar beet and a bit of fertilizer. Hello sheep! Hello! Still encroaching into your land, I'm sorry. But uh, yes, we, we do need to use this land as well. Uh, right. I could almost get away with not actually putting the ramps out, but it would probably break those lights on the back, so that would not be a wise idea. Okay. So here we go. Now we do have fertilizer in the shed. But I think the spreader already has some fertilizer in it, so that's good. Um, the spreader, I believe, I have left in this shed here, I think. Yes, I have. And I think it's got all the uh, linkages and everything. Three-point linkage is all intact. Yep. Okay, and we're going to have to have a PTO on there as well. Um, lift it up. And off we go. 56% full. Well, that should be enough. I think I did fill it up to the top originally, and it did the whole field on less than half a tank load. If we ever get any cows or anything, I could spread the land with manure. Failing that, I could just buy it off the Young's farm. That would actually be a really good idea. Um, this is quite a... yeah, a long crop, very tall crop. Anyway, let's just get it done. Believe it or not, that is actually spreading. Uh, we would be better off with a sprayer. It is something I need to invest in, so as soon as we do have the money for one, I'm hoping to get one. There we go, very good. So that should hopefully be harvested in the next few days. That is the plan. And yes, I really must try and finish off the sugar beet harvest just over here. If I can't finish it off, then it'll either be ploughed back in or I can get somebody in to do it. It just depends if it's cost effective to do it that way. But I'm hoping to get most of it done myself anyway. So yeah, let's just go and take the fertilizer spreader off and then we'll put the trailer onto this tractor again. But that's been very nice. It has actually worked really well. PTO all works. It drives well. Seems to run well. Nice tractor. Definitely worth the £8,000. More than £8,000. Actually, how do you think about it? We do need to have a tractor on the beet harvester itself, which I did leave over there. So what we will do is have this one on the trailer. We could have it on the beet harvester. Yeah, we'll put it on the beet harvester. Keep the 135 on the trailer. So he's messing around. Right. 
So at least this is going to bring in some guaranteed income because uh, I can just sell it straight away. We don't have to wait for it to be a good price or anything uh, or even store it. Storing it is kind of possible. I could put it into the workshop. kind of doubles up as a, a storage shed. But at the same time, it isn't necessarily worth it. So I would prefer just to sell it at whatever the current price is. Close enough. Nope. A little bit further. Good. PTO. Yeah, I, I think there's going to be enough horsepower here. It's not a very big tractor. But at the same time, it's not really too much to power. As you can see, it's very messy. This is the issue with the single row harvester. It takes a long time. It's, uh, well, very precise actually. You have to keep it within the row. Then again, you have to do that with uh, so like a four row. Well, it's definitely taking a long time. I would say I'm a bit behind the times with this little machine. Um, I'm going to have to get a contractor in very soon. I think that would be a wise idea. Because otherwise, I'm going to be here, I was going to say all day, but actually no, longer than all day. All the year, doing this harvest. It just needs to be done. I'm trying to get rid of it. So I think the best thing for me to do is to get the contractor in as soon as possible, maybe even today, if I can do. And then I can focus on this side of the field here preparing it ready for the next crop so yeah I'm just going to go and sell this at least we'll have some money to be able to pay the contractors uh, for doing the work uh, they're going to they usually charge by the hour so that's not an issue at all and it's not going to be in the thousands although it will be in the hundreds because it just does cost quite a bit of money to get somebody with the big machinery in um, and I do get to still sell the sugar beets at the end of it so it's still going to be big profits all around hopefully uh, but yes, yeah, so at least I've done a tiny bit more myself. Now I don't know if they're going to be able to get in today. If not, I'll just focus on doing the field anyway. I'll just do what I can do um, and go from there really. I don't know what the price is like. Hopefully it's okay. And then yes, I'll go and uh, give them a ring after doing this. Yeah, not been requiring uh, Dennis's food recently. I've been living off the corn it's getting a bit boring I'll be honest I think I probably should venture into something else I'm looking at trying to expand what I'm growing more vegetables and stuff um, but yes it would be nice to be able to uh, have some different food without going to Dennis's 831 pounds and we do still have a bit more in the uh, harvester so possibly around a thousand pounds in total so we'll head back go and unload it and sell the final piece. That was close. In a bit of a rush here. We need to get back and... Actually, I think I'll, I'll ring them now, actually. When we get off the main road. Okay, done. So they said they can't get here today, which was kind of expected. It's a bit short notice. Uh, but they can get here first thing tomorrow morning. They're just finishing off another field. In fact, it's the last field they're doing over at another local farm. So that's actually turned out alright. Of course it's weather dependent as well so hopefully the weather is going to be in our favour. But it's not too bad, it's not quite as strict as uh, doing the cereal crops. And yes it's going to be sold, this machine. It's not worth a great deal. But I wanted to just try it out for myself really and it just turned out to be a bit of good fun. Uh, but not really an economical way of harvesting. It takes an incredibly long time. Time which I could spend doing other stuff, which would make a lot more money. Yeah, I'd hope for another £150, maybe £200. We'll see. Wow, very good. 369 Nice. Right, back to the yard, and then we're going to take the, uh, the beet harvester to the uh, dealers, 
and we'll get another price given to us hopefully they're going to be very busy pricing things up today I'm just wondering you know I think I might be able to make quite a bit of money buying and selling old machinery there seems to be money in it I could go to an auction because they do hold these uh, these farm auctions and stuff fairly regularly not too far from here we could head off to an auction I'd have to take this trailer probably um, and try and buy some old equipment and do it up it's going to cost a bit to do I was just fortunate that I had um, the, the bits to do the uh, John Deere with because it didn't really need much I had a few bits in here anyway but in future it's going to cost me quite a bit of money in parts I would imagine um, but there is potential there's definitely potential in uh, restoring machinery I'm quite interested to go to an auction I think we will do uh, possibly even the next one which is on which I think is actually within a week it's not too far from now uh, so definitely a consideration right off we go we're going to see the 16.30 for the second time today yeah I think the uh, beacon might want to be repositioned it's kind of blinding it's right at the front of the cab um, yes anyway we'll turn it off we don't need to uh, keep it going oh great it's hailing Nice weather, just as I need to get out. I'm in a nice toasty cab here. Got good heating, very good heating. Surprisingly good. Right, we'll drop it off, go and speak to them, get a price for it, and then we'll hopefully be able to uh, use that money in other areas. Probably get the same saleswoman, actually. Sold. £1,739 they gave me. And interestingly, actually, they um, they upped the price for the John Deere. They saw it again, obviously, because it was here. Uh, they thought initially I was actually selling the John Deere, not the thing on the back, but no. Um, they re-priced it, if that is the right thing to say. They changed their offer from 8330 to 8500 which makes me suspicious. What's so good about this particular tractor? It's interesting that they're desperate to buy it. It's like, can they get 10,000 for it? Maybe. I'm not too sure. Yeah, this weather is grim. Yeah, so that's kind of made me think a bit more about the tractor. If it is worth more, I'm going to keep it dry. Keep it undercover. Don't want to damage its lovely paintwork. Right, what we need to do is get the grapple, which I have put somewhere. Let's go and find the grapple, probably around the corner. Mm-hmm. There's my chain. It'll be around here somewhere. There it is. Thought it could get away lurking back here. Uh, right, so yes, what we need to do is take the pallet fork off, put the grapple on, and take... I suppose, yeah, we could just take it on the same tractor. No point messing around here. I'll just back up a bit. Hopefully the other tracks can get through there. Put this tractor over here, out of the way. There we go. And yes, I'm going to go and buy or just take some manure. Uh, they were giving it away for free the other day, but I don't know if they're going to want me to keep taking it. We will just have to go and have a quick chat and see what they want for the manure. Uh, personally, I think I'd probably try and sell it for something, even if it's like three pounds. Um, but seeing as they have so much, I suppose, yes, it's like nothing to them. And I think yeah, Polly Young did actually say she wants to get rid of the whole thing. So, charging for it might turn a few people away. And this is hopefully going to be spread on the land very soon, but I do need to invest in a muck spreader as soon as I can afford it. Of course, at the moment, I can't afford it. Push that round a bit. There we go. Right. Now for the trailer. Wow, we actually have over £5,000 again. That took me by surprise. Uh, that must have been the uh, well, a combination of the, the harvester itself and the sugar beet that we sold. But that's going to be going down again tomorrow, since we have to pay the contractors. But it's also going to be going up again tomorrow, because we get the, uh, the sugar beet at the end of it. And I think I'm going to cart myself, I'm going to do the carting, because otherwise... It's just going to be another expense, getting them to do the casting too. A job which I can do, possibly. 
But if I can't keep up, then that might not go down too well. Maybe I can um, give some money to Mr. and Mrs. Young again for this tractor over here. Sorry, vehicle. Just fill the trailer up and also fill the grapple up. I think, did I establish that we have around 6,000 kilograms in here? So about six tons. Oh yeah, I always forget the weight. We don't really have a proper weight. Uh, if I could do with making one, I think what I might do is build a weight. We can construct one. What we'll do is we'll get an old oil drum, fill it with concrete, put a few pins in it. We'll use that. Nothing too expensive. Right. So... Yeah, we'll run over to the uh, Young's farm in a second. I'm willing to pay them, like, what would it be? £30? £20? don't know. Yeah, I'm more than happy to pay for it. But I have a feeling they are just going to say take it because of, well, Mrs. Jung's reaction. She was more than happy to get rid of it before. But yeah, I really should have a weight on here. So what I'm essentially doing is just trying to produce a muck pile at our farm. And then I'm going to try and fill up a muck spreader as soon as I've got one. Uh, I'm not looking for anything expensive. Less than a thousand pounds if it all goes to plan. If I can find something um, of that sort of size. But yeah, it just comes down to uh, availability. Right, so that's done a good job. Must be around six tons we've got here in total. I would imagine. There we go. Okay. See if anybody's in. The lights are on, so that's a good sign. Um, just have a knock on the door. Nobody answering. Oh, here they are. Yes, you help yourself. Not a problem, Dagwin. Thanks. That was great. Yep, so it's actually pretty much unlimited. We can take as much as we need. Hey, he's not used this since he flipped it. Not even unloaded it. Maybe we could restore this. This could be a potential restoration project. Uh, unless it's a bit twisted. Uh, it looks a bit twisted. Because he did flip it. Anyway. Different things to consider here. So, nothing. No payment needed at all. It's very kind. But also, at the same time, kind of obvious. We do have... A very big pile of manure here, and it's it's always growing because he has his cows as well. I think did he get rid of his cows? Not too sure. Well, actually, he doesn't really seem to do any farming at all. But um, yes, even so, he is Mr. Young, the farmer. There are cows in there, so yeah, he has been doing something with them. Anyway, tomorrow then. Contractors are in to the sugar beet. We will hopefully get a muck spreader. Uh, that one might be not good enough actually, but yeah, maybe I can buy one from somebody. And we'll try and get that field re-drilled, possibly. Certainly get it cultivated. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll have to look into when this auction is, but whenever the auction is, I'd love to go. Try and buy some stuff, we'll take the trailer. Probably only get one tractor on it, but if it's one fairly rare tractor, which is worth a fair bit... It could be worth it if the price is right. I'm not very good at reversing this. I uh, mustn't crush my tea. There it is. Tasty corn. I'm starving. And all I've got for tea again is some uh, some corn. Now this thing does side tip. So I need to be in the right place. Should be alright. And it's all going to have to be loaded up again. Very soon. Yep, this day has turned to be grim. Very, very grim. So we are going to leave it there. The pile is uh, it's growing slowly, but it looks like it's unlimited anyway. So hopefully in the future I can just go over to the Young's uh, manure patch over there and just keep loading up. That would be great. But as for today, thank you so much for watching. Still going to be considering which tractor to sell. Tempting to sell the John Deere at such a good price, but 
Uh, don't want to sell something if it's really rare. But uh, I'm sure my viewers of the vlog will be able to tell me more and maybe give me some pointers in the right direction. Anyway, see you again soon. Bye for now.